It was a day of COVID-19 testing at Maple Avenue Elementary in Niagara Falls. A staff member at the school tested positive this week. To On Your Side's Danielle Church has our update. Niagara Falls Superintendent Mark Laurie tells me they still aren't exactly sure where that staff member contracted the virus. Because of the positive case, though, the Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center provided testing to anyone who needed it this afternoon. The hospital is using CARES Act money that was given to the city of Niagara Falls to cover the cost of the swab tests. Maple Avenue Elementary has a little over 340 students. Lori says about 100 of them were doing remote learning, but now all of them will learn from home. He adds with the testing Niagara Falls Memorial is offering and contact tracing that they will be able to offer in person learning again for special education and ESL students by October 5th and everyone else by October 8th. I think we've done everything right and the conditions are right for that, even though this was a, a challenge in so far as to have to kind of sidetrack that process a little bit for one school. Kids need to be in school. It's the best place for learning to occur. Yet I respect the fact that some parents uh, feel uncomfortable and that's why we leave a remote option. Lori says they believe this is an isolated case. However, it's not the first positive case at a school in Niagara County. Coming up at five, I'll have more on the rapid testing that the Niagara County Department of Health will be offering to school districts beginning tomorrow. In Niagara Falls, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.